Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you here today with Patty Skinkus, a professor at Oregon State University. You know, there's been a lot of, of movement and, and need to, to move to mechanization. Can, you know, pruning and, and not all of the, you know, Pinot Noir, for example, is, has converted that direction. So, uh, Patty recently has done some studies for pruning and, and how it would compare to, to cane pruning. Would you, would you be able to talk about that and what, what you've been learning? Sure. Well, most of the Oregon producers currently cane prune Pinot Noir almost exclusively, and we wanted to see whether we could have equal or even better yields with converting to spur pruning as a way to make it more labor efficient and the potential for mechanization. So we embarked on a two-year study to look at Pinot Noir uh, yield potential from the bud up through harvest. So we actually started looking at dormant bud in terms of fruitfulness, in part because a lot of Oregon growers were hearing from them, they said, we will not convert to spur pruning because we'll have very uh, low yields due to low bud fruitfulness. So we said, okay, just to confirm that, we're going to look at bud fruitfulness uh, between cane and spur prune vines and carry that through to harvest. And what we found was they are, in fact, fruitful at basal buds, and we are able to get uh, equal yields by harvest. The one difference is we have a slightly smaller cluster size in spur prune vines than cane, but we have enough fruit still there that we don't have an appreciable difference in yield. So quality is the same, yield is virtually the same, cluster size is a bit smaller, but you can effectively spur prune Pinot Noir down to the basal buds and, and be getting sufficient quality and yields. Good to know, especially as, as the need for mechanization uh, surfaces with the labor situation that we're experiencing, especially here in California with the regulations and overtime, minimum wage, all those things. So, so thank you for, for all that you're doing over at the university. Read more about these things in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.